All right, we're going to graph a quadratic. This is one of our practice problems. We're going to find the intercepts, the vertex, and then put it on the graph. The function is f of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. So let's see here. Let's find some x-intercepts. And remember, we find x-intercepts always by letting y equal 0. So we'll change our function to 0 equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. So you can factor this or use quadratic formula. It factors very nicely into x minus 2 times x minus 4. So the two solutions for that are 2 and 4. So our x-intercepts are 2, 0, and 4, 0. I'm going to go ahead and take those and put them on our graph. 2, 0, 4, 0. And then we need to find some y-intercepts. And that is when we let x equal 0. So we're going to plug 0 in for x. So we'll get y equals 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 8. So we get 0, 8 as our y-intercept. So let's mark that and let's go put it on the graph. Um, let's do our vertex. Remember that happens when x equals negative b over 2a. So in our case, that would be x equals negative negative 6. So it will be a positive 6 all over 2. So that will be 3. 6 over 2 is 3. Um, so we're going to plug 3 in to get our y. So that will give me 3 squared, which is 9, minus 6 times 3, which will be uh, that's 18, plus 8. Uh, so I believe that gives me negative 1. So my vertex point is 3, negative 1. I'm going to come over here to the graph and put that on. 3, negative 1. So in this case, remember the vertex is either the lowest or the highest point. It's under the other point, so it looks like it would be the minimum. So we're going to curve it up to the left here, since that's where we got more points to kind of guide it. And we're going to mirror it on the right, because it's supposed to be a symmetric graph. Let's go on down to the second one here. <clears throat> Number two, f of x equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 5. Um, you may be able to factor these um, fairly easy. Um, that's fine. I'm going to use quadratic formula just to get some variation here. But remember, x intercepts when we let y be 0. So that'll be 0 equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 5. So quadratic formula of negative b will be negative 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared. That's 16 minus 4ac. So that'll be a minus 20. And that is all over 2a. So that'll be all over negative 2. So let's kind of look at this thing for a moment. Um, so I got negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 all over negative 2. Now I'm going to double check my work here real quick in my head, but if I'm trying to take the square root of negative 4, that's not a real number. So what that means is no x-intercepts, because there's nowhere to plot that. Um, if it's not a real number, our x and our y-axis are for real numbers. So as long as we did things right, 4 squared is 16, Minus 4ac, that's minus, 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 gives me minus 20. So yeah, there's no x-intercept. So basically that means we won't cross the x-axis over here. Okay, So we won't cross this x-axis at all. Uh, so our graph has to be all on top or all on bottom if it's one of those u-shapes. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's find our y-intercepts. By letting x be 0. So when we plug 0 in, we get 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 5. So we get 0, negative 5. So if that is correct, our entire graph is below the x-axis since we said we won't have any x-intercepts. So let's go to our vertex. 
If we're going to have a U shape, we have to have a place where it turns around. So remember, negative B over 2A is how we find that. So this will be negative 4 all over 2 times um, negative 1. So it will be negative 2. So it looks like our um, X part of the vertex will be a positive 2. Negative 4 all over, yep. So then we're going to plug 2 in. So the Y part of that will be... Um, negative times 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 5. So be careful with that. It's negative 4 plus 8 minus 5. So it looks like negative 1. I think we've had quite a few cases where our vertex had a Y of negative 1. Oops. My page moved. I think I'm going to move back up just slightly. I'm not sure why it moved on me. Haven't perfected the pen I'm using. So sorry. Um, so let's see here. Let's get rid of that. Not that it's causing a problem, but we said our point would be 2, negative 1. Um, so that's over here, 2, negative 1. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that point. Um, but I don't have a lot to go on, but I know that the vertex is either the highest or lowest point, and in this case it has to be the highest. So I'm going to let it come down through the left hand y-intercept and then mirror it on the right hand side. And there we have our nice little quadratic graph. They'll all be U-shaped. They can be all over the place. Um, just be very careful. They'll always have a y-intercept and a vertex though.